Uh, you know, the point you made about the uh, shrinking budget is really a very real thing in you know, this climate and you know, uh, economic collapse. Uh, I really wanted to make a commercial announcement tonight because you will hear this over and over again. You know, Ken talks about having to compete with the teachers, but um, you know, with all due respect to what Ken is saying, some of that would probably happen. But you know, there, there, there's this whole question about, okay, everybody's assuming that there's no money out there. But I think what this period of time is going to force us to do is to rally around what we do need, whether it's schools or street protection, and, and tell this government and this legislature they cannot be giving out the money to their favorite special interests anymore. And the biggest one that you can think about, and you always remember this, is that there's, there was, it used to be $65 million a year. It's now 82 years ago. It's now $87 million a year for the Hawaii Tourism Authority, something that has no constitutional protection, has no constitutional mandate to give the money. So just look at the size of it. How big is your budget? Our budget is about, for all our programs, yes. from water, survey, yes, about $2 million. <coughs> yeah. Do you have to say more? That's the priority that the legislators put on the tourism industry. And in, in my opinion, Spending a dollar trying to promote tourism in this environment is throwing water down the ship. Because the guy that's unemployed up in, in California is never going to come to Hawaii because it's a new, a new ad on TV saying come to Hawaii. <coughs> and that's what a lot of money is being used for. So if you are told no more money, ask that question. So what, what about the money that's going as corporate welfare to the tourism? Because all that money, 87 million, all you have is, it's barely 1% of that amount. You know? And you can probably double the triple the staff and everything that we need to do. And I, so I, I always, I, I ask you, think about the priorities the state is currently giving to the state government, where the money is going. And that's the biggest target. Why Tourism Authority, it's 87 million dollars a year. They claim it's their money. Because a lot of money comes from the hotel room tax. Hey, the money I give, I don't see that as my money that I got to spend, my income tax that I pay, my gross excise tax that I pay. That's not put in a special kitty for that for me to spend. But they get to spend their so called fair money. But he needs you to testify when the budget committees hear the Commission of Water Resource Management budget. And this is the kind of information you've got to give to them. This is really important to you, and tourism promotion is not. Well, this is a, this is a constitutional right. duty. Tourism promotion <laughs> is not. Why is money giving two million here and eighty-seven million there? And that's that's the kind of testimony that would go real far to help him uh, do his job. Thank you. So um, tomorrow we're going to be. Uh, out in the field around 6.30. If anybody's interested in going uh, with us, please talk to us after the meeting and we can try to see a range, uh, whatever arrangements can be made. Uh, there may be vehicle limitations. I don't know how narrow some of these roads is and parking, but that's something we can talk about. Um, can, last thing, but can you make do you have, do you have lists of uh, people's numbers? Um, that was the sign-up sheet. Can you, can, you, can you let them know when your budget comes up in January? So yeah. 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 Uh, I'm depressed. Yeah. We want to help you. Uh, okay. I, I mean, I can try, but as you know, <laughs> sometimes the the time to uh, <laughs> when they notice it to when there's a meeting is very short. Oh, yeah. So. And, and, and Alan knows the, um, the process at the ledge. Sometimes they will have something on the agenda, and it... Well, but if people know that it's coming up, and it's noticed even with 48 of people, email yeah. testimony, which is very easy, you can get a whole ton of testimony. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry, I was, mis mis uh, I was thinking that, um, you know, sometimes people jump on a plane and fly from Inner Island, and then, and then, and they, and they go to testify, and the meeting is delayed to the next day or something. So I don't want to ask you guys to come, and then, you know, there goes my trust. Okay.
So um, thank you. Um, any other questions before we conclude tonight? I really appreciate your patience, your time. Um, again, you know there uh, there is an opportunity. I believe that we all can work together. All of us, EMI, the community, everybody, we're all a part of this together. And it's only going to happen if we, we partner together. I really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you.